Responsive images are used when you want to deliver different resolutions of file for different platforms. So for instance, on a large monitor, you would want to deliver a really high resolution image. On your phone, you'd want to deliver a small resolution image that is uh, small in file size as well, so it doesn't suck up all your data. So I've looked at responsivebreakpoints.com that seems to do what we want. So you're able to set um, the various resolutions that you want to deliver. You also are able to set some steps, uh, but crucially you can set the number of images that you're going to have. So I've uploaded an image and I specified that I wanted to have four images and you can see the different sizes it's delivering for the different uh, platforms and it gives me the HTML and all the rest of it I can use. Um, the handy thing is if I click download images it gives me a single file which has got everything in it. So if I now extract this file which it's doing even as we speak so I've got uh, the four images and I can grab that along with is that right it's got the four images in there yeah and it's got the different resolutions in their file name there and I can also I think we can actually don't have to download the images no right I can also just grab this code from here so I'm just going to grab that drop it into my project at a place where I want some content to go save that uh, I'm going to add a new folder for images. I haven't done that yet. So uh, add new folder, which I'm going to call images, which is a good name for images. And within images, I'm going to add some content. So existing item. And I'm going to browse to wherever I was. And only two. Did I do that wrong? Maybe it's in my downloads folder. That's better. So select them all, add them all. There they all are. In theory, that will work. Waiting patiently for everything to fire up. Tom T Tom. Everyone feeling patient? I don't want that. Tumpty tum. I wonder what crashed. Okay. So, in theory, right here should be my images. And they're not. Why is that? Let's try Shift F5. Always a good idea. Nope. So, let's try F12. And just check that I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing. So I want to see elements, I want to see class, container, body, content, and in my jumbo form of it, no, it's in here, class equals row, and do four, blah, blah, why isn't it showing those? That's funny. So it's pointing, it's not pointing to the images folder. Why wouldn't it do that? Ah, yeah. So all, all of these should have images slash in front of them, shouldn't they? Dang it. Let's just do that. I might redo this video sometime, but, you know, let's save that and refresh wrong in page okay so if i try at different sizes we should see the different images uh loading and appearing so if i toggle to this one so this image it says is no, it doesn't actually tell us which one's loaded. Trust me, it probably works. All right, good, done.